our viewers are going to be in for a very good game. Well, you spoke about some of those names and Deportivo. They've got the likes of Andre Etienne uh, and Wesley John in central defense. Akinola Gregory, Isaiah Hudson, the secondary school's football star. Marvin Phillips, the national goalkeeper. And of course, uh, Mark Ramdeen, who we saw in action as the man of the match in their last matchup. And uh, for the defense force, they've got an array of stars themselves. I'll tell you who they are in just a few. But Brent, what do you make of the Deportivo team? Yes, yeah, certainly a array of stars as we talked about some familiar names there within the squad. Uh, of course, as we take a look at the Defence Force squad, uh, of course, Kevin Goddard comes in. Uh, one of the changes, he was away on national duty with Trinidad and Tobago alongside Aaron Inel, J uh, Jelani Felix, Brent Sam, Jamil Boswain, Hase Marcia, another national team player, Curtis Gonzalez, the captain, Rion Moore, Justin Sadu, Jules Lee and Jamali Garcia. Certainly a formidable office. Uh, we wrap up this match and uh, early highlights deflected Angie Pacheco's shot. Certainly creating some early action in this match. Seesaw fixed here. And point fourteen with some more early attacking play. This time Riley setting up Philip and a team effort in the end. But they would get the breakthrough. A minute 12 defense force. Hashim As here picking out Brent Sam at the back door to give them a 1 0 advantage. So Hashim As here putting over a good service. Uh, defense force getting an unmarked head at the back door. But point 14 would respond well. Philip again at the heart of everything, creating one for Akinola Gregory. And Enel couldn't deal with the deflected shot. And that put the score level. And that's how they would remain at halftime. And that's how it remain for pretty much the end of the match. Another chance opening up here for Akinola Gregory. Touch not really creating the space for him, but he would put it in a platter for Philip. And his deflected effort, easy for Bigart. So that was halftime. Second half created another kettle of fish this time Brent Sam opening up an opportunity not really getting past uh, Cornwall he was pretty much marked out of the match and Isaiah Hudson creating the best chance perhaps of the second half forcing Bigat into a wonderful save point 14 really came alive here substitute Kessa and the goalkeeper somehow getting a foot in the way of that one to keep scores one all and then another substitute, benefiting from the Marvin Phillips service, Russell Alfred, 1v1, and running out of options and ideas at the same time. Point 14, keeping alive, Isaiah Garcia, Mark Ramdeen, deflected, and uh, score remaining one. And was there one more chance for point 14? Well, goalkeeper Big Art ensured that he did his job. Well, some poor finishing also let down point 14. And then Justin Sadu with another one just wide of the mark for Marvin Phillips. And uh, no goals going in as the score, after all the effort, ended up with Deportivo point 14 1. And the defense force won. A deserved result in this match as both teams continue to try to progress in this competition of course our defense force unbeaten in the competition two draws for them and one win in their three matches while point 14 they've managed to just pick up two points in three matches two draws and a win so we'll update you on the standings later on in this fixture don't forget we're standing by waiting for the second fixture but before that i've got brent sancho pit side and he's got our man of the match with the young Cornwall, man of the match. Uh, tell us a little bit about the game, of course. Where do you think Deportivo went right in this football game? We went, we went right towards the game mentally, but we wasn't that physically ready for the game, but we will prepare better for it next time. Yes, yeah, certainly a man of the match performance. A back four of yourself, Wesley John, Etienne, and of course Garcia held solid. Some tricky performers there for defence force, but you held your own. Talk us through the, some of the moments of the game where you felt that you guys did very well. Basically, we went very well by speaking to each other because it was Wesley John and Etienne. Who see me? I'm in on the speak from the back. 
that guy Mitchell, that guy that well, again, congratulations on your Man of the Match performance as we toss it back up to James.